Hey guys, what's up? Sermo11 here with a discussion on the Close Enough Comic Con trailer. This was another request by Niederman Studios. Check out his channel. The link is in the description below. He requested this topic. If you guys want to request videos, go ahead and I might do it. You might get to see your topic made into a video. That's fun, right? So, if you don't know what Close Enough is, it is a show by the creator of Cartoon Network's regular show. Close Enough is made for an older crowd. And don't forget to check out the Close Enough subreddit to discuss the show and, of course, this trailer. The link is also below in the description. Anyways, the trailer is just a mix of various scenes like the main couple at home, the usage of pot or marijuana, a scene at the bar with very revealing clothing, and a lot more scenes. Based on the trailer, the main cast appears to be J.G. Quintel's character, which looks like him and is also voiced by him. His wife, I'm assuming the best friend is the guy with the beard and his name seems to be Alex. There's also an Asian girl that could be dating Alex. The child of J.G. Quintel and his wife, a red-haired guy, and an elderly black woman. Regular Show's main cast of characters was around the same number. They had seven characters. Close Enough has six main characters. Now, there isn't much to say about these characters. JG and Alex definitely remind me of Mordecai and Rigby. I can see those two being best friends, as I said already. And really, that's about it. There's really not that much to take away from this. I'm assuming all the characters are friends because at the end of the trailer we see them all together and potentially the red haired guy and the elderly woman they might get some scenes together maybe they have their own sort of thing going on in the show as well who knows because they seem to kind of match the characters up so we have JG and his wife and sometimes the child and then they have Alex and JG they have Alex and the Asian girl they have the red-haired guy and JG and his wife and they have the elderly black woman and the red-haired guy. Those appear to be like the little groups that are going on within the show. The scene that I mentioned about JG, his wife, and the red-haired guy, that could be their introduction to him because it seems like they don't know that much about each other in that scene. But who knows, I probably shouldn't be looking into this that much. I watch a lot of cartoons and most of them are on Cartoon Network. I also watch adult cartoons and Close Enough seems like an odd fit for that category based on the trailer. And perhaps this is because of JG's previous work, regular show, but there were quite a few jokes about genitalia and to me that's not really the best humor if you're trying to make an adult show. There's other jokes you can make. You can make like murder jokes or something. Um, what else? You can, I don't know. You can joke about some really messed up things. I'm not going to say them on here, but there's a lot of things you can joke about. And I don't know. I don't think genitalia is like the funniest thing. Maybe it's funny when it's like a rare joke, but there were a lot of jokes about, you know, just getting kicked between the legs or getting hit in that area or just talking about that. And, uh, I don't know. You know, we'll see when the show comes out. I like the fact that the main couple involving JG and his wife high-five each other, and their daughter even gets in on that action, and it seems like that's their dynamic. It seems like the dynamic between JG and his wife will be fun as they kind of play off each other with jokes and humor and all that. And I imagine the characters will be meeting each other during the season and won't be all introduced in one episode. Another scene I like was the one where JG is trying to get his daughter's toy from a car and he's about to be crushed to death. The show seems like it's going to have random crazy scenes just like in regular show, but I wonder how they'll be handled exactly. I mentioned earlier that there was the use of marijuana in the show, which would make it very easy to get into those situations. And I'm sure the regular show writers and everyone on the crew was just, you know, under speculation of doing marijuana just because of, like, how wild and crazy all the scenes are. Now, I tried watching the Comic-Con panel for Close Enough, but it wasn't just Close Enough. It was for TBS's upcoming animation shows, and I don't really care about the other shows. I was just there for JG and Close Enough, so I was trying to skip to his parts because... Again, I don't, I don't care what's coming on TBS. I mean, I watch American Dad on there. I'm going to watch Close Enough on there. But 
I don't watch TBS regularly. Even in the even though they air Family Guy, American Dad, Boss Burgers, I think they might even air the Cleveland show too. I just don't really watch TBS. And I think this show, I think Close Enough, will bring a lot of people to TBS. They they have all the adult cartoons. I don't know if they have The Simpsons, but that's mostly the adult cartoons that I already mentioned. You know, like the ongoing ones, and then they'll be getting a few new ones. Uh, the, the one in space does look interesting. Like I'm not gonna push away all the TBS material immediately. The uh, I don't know the title, but the one, the guy, he created a short on YouTube and it got picked up as a TV show or something like that. That looks interesting. I think it's called Lost Space or something. I don't know. I'm just not really a big fan of TBS. They they air Family Guy early in the morning, and I would love to watch Family Guy early in the morning. Sometimes I turn it on there, but usually I'm just like, I don't care that much. I'll just wait for Adult Swim. You know, Adult Swim only airs two episodes a night, but whatever. <laughs> Overall, there wasn't that much to talk about in the trailer for Close Enough. If you'd like to discuss the show with fans of the show and myself, check out the Close Enough subreddit, which will be linked in the description of this video. So, what was your favorite scene from this trailer, and what do you think about Close Enough so far? Are you looking forward to it, and what are you looking forward to seeing within Close Enough? Anyways, that's it for me. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like my content and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and like me on Facebook. The links are below. I'm SirMo11. See you next time, and peace out.